everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Adela Cruz, Global OPI Artist. I'm here today with Marlo Beauty Supply to bring you some really cool nail art. Thank you Marlo Beauty Supply for hosting us and letting us be part of your Facebook community. Also, Marlo Beauty Team is um, making this possible for us um, remotely from a different location. That way I can bring you professional education to your own device. Before we get started, I also want to let you know that Sigourney Nunez is going to be in a whole nother location to answer your questions on Facebook. So before we get started, we're going to use our Swiss handguard to sanitize our hands. I'm going to give some to my model. Thank you, Cynthia, for coming in today to help me do this. Okay, so let me tell you what we're going to work on today. We're going to do a tri-color ombre. So my idea was to give you different versions of doing a tricolor ombre with different tools and your skill set. So it all depends on your preference of tool and some of us are a little bit more heavy handed, some have a lighter touch. So depending on all that, you're gonna find the right one for you. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, so off camera, I did my base coat one color, um, one coat of base coat and I cured it for 30 seconds in our LED light. And I did two colors of Stop It, I'm Blushing OPI gel color and also cured that 30 seconds each coat. Next, I'm going to use Alpine Snow to do a side French. Okay. <clears throat> So starting from the cuticle area of the nail, I'm gonna come in and do a side fringe. Thin coat, capping the free edge. And before you put it in the light, you wanna make sure that you clean up anything that has gotten on the skin. Once it goes into the light and that cures, it's gonna be very difficult to remove it. So this is gonna cure for 30 seconds. Great, Adela. We have Connie asking, is base and top coat required when using gel color? Yes, base coat and top coat are both required to do the gel color service. I also apply base coat on my acrylics. I feel that for some clients, it tends to chip if I don't use my base coat. Thank you for your question. Okay, take it out. Okay, next, I'm going to do my second coat of Alpine Snow. And the reason for applying a base coat um, of Alpine Snow first is it makes it easier to see exactly where your colors are going to be set. And it brightens some of your colors as well. So this is also gonna cure for 30 seconds. I'm gonna clean up this little area and then we're gonna go right into the light. 30 seconds. So Adela, we have a question from Joanna. Is OPI gel color, is it a hybrid or is it gel? Hi Joanna. Um, our OPI gel colors are 100% gel. So is the top coat. Top coat is 100% gel. Our base coat does have solvents in it which will allow it to remove easier. Thank you Joanna for your question. The question was whether or not our gel colors were hybrids or gel only. Okay, so now for the fun part. These are the colors that I'm going to use. It's strawberry margarita, gelato on my mind, and Russian navy. Strawberry margarita has been one of my favorites through the spring and the summer. Okay, so the first tool I'm going to use is an ombre brush. Some of the nail techs I know have gotten really creative cutting up their own brush. As you can see, some of the bristles are shorter and some of them are longer. I just recently started playing with a brush like this and I love it. Okay, our first color, strawberry margarita. So you wanna decide which of the colors is gonna be your dominant color. That's the one that's gonna go first. So you can use any color for this. I tend to use my very dark color. In this case, it's Russian Navy at the very tip. Gelato on my mind is going to be the middle to blend the two colors together. 
So you don't have to worry too much about staying in the line because we're going to clean it right before it goes into the light. Using my ombre brush and going sideways, I'm going to start with the pink and brush in a downward motion into the blue. I'm going to do the same thing with the Russian Navy, starting with Russian Navy and blending into gelato on my mind. Before I put it into the light, I'm going to clean around to make sure that I have a really nice and sharp edge. Okay, our first color, I mean our first coat is going to be a little transparent, but you're gonna see how nice it's gonna look on the second coat. That's gonna cure another 30 seconds. Great, just in time for another question. Meredith wants to know, what is your favorite color combination, Adela? Meredith, oh my goodness. I love sticking to the pinks, anything with pink, pink and lavenders and purples, but I've also gotten really creative with the grays, black and whites, because you can always add a little splash of color to them. It looks really nice, any season, that works for any season. Thank you, Meredith, for your question. And a follow-up question, what do you like to do with black onyx? Oh, black onyx. You know what? Black onyx is one of my favorites for mattes. When you're using a matte top coat, your dark colors are going to give you the best results. Thank you, Meredith. Okay, so we're coming in with our second coat of all three colors. Strawberry margarita first. Followed by Russian Navy. and blending them together with gelato on my mind. Again, I'm using an ombre brush, starting with strawberry margarita, blending into gelato, and doing the same thing with Russian Navy. Remember to take your cleaning brush to make sure that you have a nice, even finish. Okay, so that's gonna cure another 30 seconds. And we just have so many questions coming in, Adela. This one is from Corrine. She wants to know how long does gel color last on nails? Hi, Corrine. Okay, well, it depends if you're working on an enhancement like acrylic or a hard gel. That can last you until it's time for her to come back two or three weeks later. On a natural nail, our gel colors can last two to three weeks as well. Um, we usually recommend and say it's 14, 14 days for long wear. 21 days, I'm sorry, 21 days for gel color. Okay, so that was our application using an ombre brush. Really quick, Adela, speaking of the ombre brush, Erica wants to know where can you buy that brush? There's so many brands and so many different um, sizes from a, from a small to a larger one. And like I said, before they came up with the ombre brush, I was having to cut it and make my own. And it was never like perfect. And I was using more of a point brush. So this one is, is really nice. They're making them flat now. And you can go to any of your local distributor from off brands to any brand. We're doing this one next. Okay, so next we're going to do the same exact technique of the tricolor ombre, but this time we're going to use a dotting tool. So for best results, a very small dotting tool will be best. Okay, so strawberry margarita first. Coming about three quarters of the way down. Russian Navy at the end. And gelato on my mind in the middle. So same technique using a dotting tool. And we're going to go sideways instead of up and down. So starting with strawberry margarita. So you wanna start here and then slowly start blending into gelato. 
and you're going to blend all the way down until it's just blue. And the same thing you're going to do with Russian Navy, starting here, and then blending into gelato until you no longer see the Russian Navy. Then we're going to go up and down. And like I said, you can come off the line because we're going to clean that up. And if you do, it actually helps to get a nicer blend. And again, this is our first coat. On the second coat, you will get a better result. Okay, cleaning up my line. And that's going to cure for 30 seconds. So if you're just joining us, hey, uh, my name is Adela Cruz. I'm here doing a tri-color gel color design. Um, we're here with Marlo Beauty Supply. Thank you for hosting us and the Marlo Beauty team doing all of this possible on a remote location so that everybody stays safe. Okay, so we're going in with our second coat. And again, this is the blending technique we're using using a dotting tool. Strawberry margarita. Next, Russian navy. Capping the free edge, of course. And gelato on my line. And using the dotting tool, I'm gonna start with strawberry margarita. and blending into gelato on my mind. Doing the same thing on this side with Russian Navy. I'm going to use a cleaning brush to clean off the edge. Like so. And that's going to cure for 30 seconds. And of course, we have another question for you. Are you cleaning? It looks like Miss Scott K just came into the conversation. Hi, Hi. Miss Scott. Hi, Miss Scott. Um, she just wants to know, are you cleaning with alcohol? Or what is it that you're using to clean up around the cuticles? Oh, what a great question. I'm actually using NAS 99. This is a 99% isopropyl alcohol. This is OPI's cleaning solution. And we use it to clean off the inhibition layer off our top coat. We can use it in between the service, and it's my favorite to clean my brushes and to clean around the cuticle. This works for gel colors, of course. For lacquer, I use Expert Touch Polish Remover. Thank you, Ms. Scott. Okay. On our third one, I'm gonna show you how I do it in the salon. Um, I work fairly fast with my clients and I'm kind of known for for working pretty fast so when I'm doing it on the salon this is my trick this is strawberry margarita three quarters of the way Russian Navy at the tip I'm gonna cap the free edge first gelato on my mind in the middle and I have a top coat that is designated just for that because it will get dingy after a while. So I'm gonna remove any excess top coat. And I'm gonna start over here on the pink. And just blend it down on both colors. And of course we're gonna do a second coat before it goes into the light I'm going to clean make sure I have a nice crisp line and that's gonna cure for 30 seconds and Joanna Rodriguez is loving the colors that you chose today and they're so spring and summery but she also wants to know are they from Mexico or what collections are these colors from actually the colors that I'm using today are from our iconic classic line I love the Mexico City collection those are like really 
vibrant colors. But the ones we're using today are going to be available for you all year long. Not that um, Mexico City is not, but these are our iconic and best sellers. So I wanted to use colors that are always going to be available to you. Okay, so my second coat. Strawberry Margarita. Russian Navy. Gelato on my mind. And using my designated top coat. Starting in the pink, I'm going to blend down. Same thing with the Russian Navy. It adds a little bit of product, a little bit of top coat to allow it also to blend into each other. I'm cleaning around the line here. And that's going to cure for 30 seconds. Great, and we still have so many questions coming to Adela. <laughs> this one is from Lisa Vinson Wright. Hey Lisa. Hi, Lisa. So she wants to know, Adela, did you top coat that neutral color before adding on all those vibrant colors? No, actually what I did before we even started working is I removed the inhibition layer off of it and then I did the, the alpine snow on a sideways French and then I started working. So the the neutral color that we use is Stop It, I'm Blushing, and that color, after I put it on, I remove the inhibition layer with the NAS 99 before I started working. You don't have to do that, but I feel like I have more control and my colors won't bleed into each other. It, it does it very, very little, but because I wanted that crisp line, I removed that inhibition layer before I started. Thank you, Lisa, for your question. Okay. So when you're working, I wanted to mention with the, with the dotting tool, if you don't get like a perfect blend, you can use any glitter over it. Like in this case, I'm gonna use Pirouette. And any glitter that you use. I loved glitter when I was a brand new nail tech because it hides a lot of your imperfections. It'll give you a nice um, blend. So that's gonna cure for 30 seconds, but before we do that, I'm going to work on a on our hero on our star nail for today um, on my little remover wrap I'm going to apply a little bit of alpine snow using my OPI detailing brush we're going to draw some flowers um, when I'm teaching nail art I always tell people to get comfortable with your teardrop design. So I'll do that, I'll do it real quick. So this is your teardrop design. If you can master this one shape, there's so much that can, you can do with this. You can do hearts, you can do butterflies, you can do flowers, you can do different kinds of flowers with just that one teardrop. You can do little shamrocks at um, St. Patrick's time with that one little teardrop. So if I was going to say to practice anything, I would say to try to master that teardrop shape. Okay, so this is my flower. I'm going to do two. Again, this is our little teardrop shape. And you're going to use whatever detailing brush that you're comfortable with. Here's our second one. I find that my flowers look best when I use five petals. Five petals or more. We're gonna connect these so they match. Okay, so that's gonna cure for 30 seconds. And of course, one of the big questions that we're getting asked, Adela, is what is the best part about being a global artist for OPI? Oh my goodness. 
Well, I love doing nail art. I love doing nails. And I love working for OPI. But now as a global artist, I'm able to travel internationally to spread the OPI love. Thank you for your question. Okay, so we're just about cured here. So next we're going to ombre onto the flower petals. So what I'm going to do is take my strawberry margarita and put a drop here and gelato on my mind. Using my detailing brush, I can get a little closer. I'm going to do one with strawberry margarita at the ends. And on the other one, I'm going to do gelato on my mind on the end. So you can see that depending on which color you want to, to dominate would be the color that you want to use first. So on this other petal, on this other flower, we're going to put the strawberry margarita in the center. And I'm going to do shapes like, almost like X's. Can you see that? Okay. And now applying our gelato on my mind on the ends. I'm going to try to leave a tiny space in between both colors, like so. And we're going to do the same effect of the X's up here. Okay, once you have both colors down, uh, in this case, I think we're going to use our little ombre brush. And just using very, very gentle touch, I'm going to blend it into each other. So I'm going back and forth to make sure that there's even coverage. Doing the same thing on this one. So if you're just joining me, we're doing an ombre flower just in time for spring. Marlo Beauty team is remotely making this possible so that I can bring you professional education into your own device. You don't have to even leave your home. And this is what it's gonna look like. And we're gonna cure this for 30 seconds. And we've got two people asking the same questions. We've got Jess Green and Melissa wondering about those great brushes that you're using. One is what kind of brushes are they and where can I get them? You know what, this ombre brush that I found is just like an off-brand. Um, but like I said before, I used to cut my own and cut the tips off. Um, the detailing brush that I've been using is our OPI detailing brush that has the dotting tool at the end. And my cleaning brush also doesn't have, doesn't have a, a brand name. Okay. So as you can see, we did it with an ombre brush. We did it with a dotting tool using a little bit of glitter to hide any imperfections. And like I said, this was my favorite way of doing it when I was a brand new nail tech. Glitter was like my best friend. And this one I did the way I do it now, which is with a top coat as my, my blending brush. So I have one top coat that is designated just for that so it gets a little bit of color on there. I, I do clean it as best I can, but make sure that you have a top coat designated just for that if that's the way you choose to do it. On our flowers, we used two colors to be able to blend those together. And next I'm going to top coat everything. And that's gonna cure for 30 seconds. So from this point, 
You can embellish with crystals if you like. You can add more glitter on the line if you choose to. Um, that's another tip that I have, is if you feel that your lines are not as crisp as you would like them, and they have those little striping brushes that you can add a little bit of glitter, or you can even add crystals in an entire line here to perfect that. So don't shy away from nail art because you can't draw a straight line because in nail art, it, there's no perfection. It, it can be whatever you choose it to be. So we're gonna cure our top coat for 30 seconds. And we have two more questions for you. Hey everybody, love these questions. One is, uh, where do you find your inspiration for nail art? Oh my goodness, inspiration is everywhere. That's one of the things that I teach all my nail students. Like I can't even drive down the road when I, without looking at the rims of the car next to me and I'll figure out how to put that on a, on a nail. Carpet, wallpaper, anything can be inspiration. And, it, and by inspiration, it doesn't mean that you take a picture of hula girls and paint the whole little hula girl on there. You can take part of her colors and things like that to get perfect nail art. Great, and Miss Scott K, thank you again for another question. She just wants to know one more time if you can cover what do you clean your brushes with? Okay, so let me show you really quick. This is NAS 99, 99% isopropyl alcohol. I've already put some into my little dispenser here. So what I do is I take my brushes, I soak them into the NAS 99 and brush it off very simply and that cleans it all off and with your brushes when you're working with acrylic you specifically have to use Kalinsky brushes when you're working with gel you can use Kalinsky or synthetic brushes so I find a lot of my brushes like at any art supply store not necessarily um, nail stores and you'd be surprised how well some of those brushes work as well. So brushes is just a matter of preference. You're going to find some that you like. Some people like longer handles or shorter handles. Some people like really fun and sparkly brushes. That all just depends on you. I'm all about the sparkles. Thank you, Miss Scott. Okay, so this is our finished look. And like I said, you can choose from this point how you want to Finish it if you want to add crystals, if you want to leave it like so. I'm going to use OPI's Pro Spa Cuticle Oil to moisturize her cuticles. And there you go, a tri-color ombre look. Thank you everybody. Thank you for all your wonderful questions. Thank you Marlo again and the Marlo team for making this possible for everyone to be able to get professional education in their own home. Thank you Sig for answering the questions and also for relating them back to me. Have a great day.